Hi, this is my first co-talk on tour and I have Thomas Young with me at TechEd Las Vegas. Tom, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Excellent. So, we're on the show floor, yeah. so hopefully the microphones are working. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, some of the announcements this week, but also, you probably, I mean, you're going to see a lot of people this week face to face. So, what advice, and also what questions and what advice uh, do you give them when they talk about migrating XSA, HDI to Web IDE? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a hot topic question. A lot of people are in the same category. They probably haven't started their migration yet. Maybe they're wondering whether they've waited too long or have they not waited long enough. Um, you know, we had the functionality available now for a couple of years. I think this is maybe the third tech ed that we've been talking about it. So it's reached that point where it's mature and it's ready. Many customers have begun to already move to HANA 2.0. Um, so the first thing to know is that you go to HANA 2.0, nothing migrates automatically okay. to, to HDI and, and Web IDE. Um, so you don't have to worry about it disrupting any of your current functionality. It stays right where it is in the current repository in the HANA Studio. You have to choose to move things manually, and you can do that at your own pace. Okay. So that usually reassures people right, yeah. right there. And the other thing that you have to keep in mind is that um, although we're not forcing you to move now, eventually we will. Okay. We Already for over a year now, we've said the next major release of HANA uh, will not have the HANA repository, will not have the HANA studio, will not have XSC. So you have to move before you want to upgrade to the okay. next major release. But we've also said that HANA 2.0, uh, it will have long-term maintenance. At some point, we'll release like the last SPS for HANA 2.0, and we'll say then that SPS has five years of maintenance. Uh, so this functionality isn't going away overnight either. So I think we're at a, at a nice balance there where you don't have to be panicked, Okay. Uh, but you should take the conversion seriously because there is an end in sight and it is a multi-year process. And, and there, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people here at TechEd coming to our sessions to learn the details of how they go about doing that migration. Well, I was going to ask you whether you've got some sessions, so you obviously you have. Yeah. Um, obviously, as I say, with TechEd, you mentioned sessions. What about announcements that you're announcing? Yeah, in our topic area, the big announcement is that in just like two weeks, uh, we're going to have a what we're calling a feature revision okay. uh, for SPS3. So it's not a new version of HANA. It'll just be a HANA revision that comes out at the end of October, and it's going to have a bunch of new functionality for developers in it. Okay. And we're able to do this uh, and because of the of what we set out to do a couple of years ago, which is decouple the Web IDE and XSA from the HANA core itself. So you can upgrade XSA and Web IDE and not have to touch the HANA database. It's backwards compatible. So that means we can now deliver new features without having to do a HANA upgrade itself. Okay. So, so we're, we're going to do that for the first time here, here in October. So we're showing off some of these new features in the, in the Web IDE uh, for uh, that are going to be in this yeah. new release. So uh, obviously, I, I alluded to sessions. Yeah. So what sessions are you doing? What? What? Uh, I'm assuming you know some of these will. Well, I don't know whether it will be streamed or be available at some point in the future. So let's get it down for the record. What you're going to be doing this week? Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of sessions. Uh, there is one that's going to be recorded and be available for live replay, um, and and that's the one on what's new. Okay. Um, and that's also one that we're going to repeat three times here at Las Vegas. There was so much demand for it, so we'll cover a lot of this new stuff. Um, but I think the one that I'm most excited for is actually the two-hour hands-on on, on Node.js. Right, okay. Um, and it's not even, I mean, we're going to do Node.js inside the inside the HANA environment, inside XSA, but it's not specific to that. It's going to teach people general Node.js, which is a skill that ABOP developers can use. We saw in the keynote the, this morning the new um, uh, functions that are available in, in the SMB Cloud Platform, okay. the beta, that they're, you program those in Node.js. So it has, it has a, a lot of uh, possibilities, and I think it's something that every developer should really, you know, it's a language, it's a skill that every developer should pick up. So that's, that's why I'm excited to teach that to a, to a room full of all kinds of different developers. Excellent. Well, Tom, thanks for spending some time with yeah. us on CoTalk and out of your busy schedule at TechEd. So have a great conference. All right, thanks a lot.